Hi guys, thanks for joining me. It's very good to be here. But what is a Sunday shave? For me, a nice relaxing shave. Mine usually tend to be anyway. But this will go out to you on Monday. I'm going to use a vintage fat handled tech from Gillette. A mild razor but renowned for being a very, very nice razor. The soap I'm going to be using today is Mitchell's Wolfat. I had a conversation with a gentleman called Andy in the week and the information he gave me about Mitchell's Wolfat surprised me to say the least. So I've got my Wolfat with a drop of water on it just Soaking. I'm going to be using my little Samoog uh, 830. Is it the 820 or the 830? It's gone out of my head. I think it's the 830 with the plain knot. So there we are, a bore bristle knot. Um, I'll just build a lather on my brush and while I'm doing that I'll talk about the razor that I was going to use today and I've changed for this one. I was going to use a Razarine razor today um, and I cut myself trying to get the blade in. I find on the Razarine, although I've had a couple of good shaves with it, I find it's very fiddly to fit the blade in. On the one I have, it fits in slightly skewed. Um, I pressed the blade in and the edges of the blade flicked up and cut me. So after my infection that is still ongoing in my foot, I've decided that anything like that where I have a good chance of cutting myself is just not worth the hassle. So there we are. Anything I have to really piss about with to get the blade to sit in it properly, I'm afraid it's going to be a non-starter for me on the channel. But I know some of you guys love your Razarine. I'm not saying it's not a good razor, as I said, I have had a couple of good shaves, but it's not for me. So I've had some pre-shave, I've put that on my face, I've just dampened my face again. And we'll be ready to lather up. I haven't got much growth today, I had a one pass shave yesterday i was trying to shave with my new stainless steel straight razor and i have found it to be an absolute bugger to sharpen so um i really need to take that back to some stones and try again it was a very good deal on eBay, but I think it's likely to be the last stainless steel razor, straight razor, that I buy. I should stress that, straight razor. A carbon steel straight razor is much, much easier to sharpen, although I do have limited experience of sharpening razors but that's how I feel at the moment now Mitchell's wool fat is going on very well indeed I'm just gonna keep adding a drop of water to this Just 
just smooth that out. Now I was kindly informed in the week because of Mitchell's wool fat that I'm using is what I called their vegetarian version. Well, of course it isn't, is it? Um, it's got lanolin in it and it was pointed out to me that a lot of vegans still won't use it because of that. So, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> it's incorrect of me to call it there a vegetarian or vegan version, it's absolutely not. Now it does have a scent. Sometimes when I put my nose in, I get a bit of a sense of a lemony kind of smell. Occasionally. I get um, sometimes a scent that seems slightly floral. But as I said, I had a conversation with Andrew in the week and he told me that the original tallow version of Mitchell's Wolfat is still for sale on the Kent Shaving website. Apparently it is. The original old formula repackaged for Kent. Now I had a look, of course, on the Kent website. And Andy says, those of us that are disappointed by Mitchell's recipe change are buying up and, st and storing, is that a word, hoarding the old tallow version from Kent. So uh, very, very interesting. Uh, you can buy a refill. So I had a look, and on the Kent website, this is the bit, it's gobsmacked. On the Kent website, it says that the scent notes of the soap are lavender, pine, clove extracts, sitting on a spicy base of nutmeg, cedarwood, sandalwood and musk. I asked Andy if he was sure because if you look on a Mitchell's website there is no mention of any scent notes whatsoever. And he said, yeah, that is the Mitchell's soap. That is the scent of Mitchell's. But it's just very, very mildly scented. So what do you know, eh? <laughs> and now that it's wet, I can actually smell... Some of those scents coming through a little bit. I absolutely did not know that. And I'm surprised as it's recommended as a soap that's good for sensitive skin, Mitchell's wool fat. So the fact that it had those scents in it was a complete surprise to me. It is, I should say, is a very, very long time 
ago that I used Mitchell's Warfare and had a whole puck and it's only recently that I've got this one thank you thanks to Jim um, so there we are absolutely gobsmacked by that so if you want to get the original tallow version of Mitchell's Warfare have a look at the Kent website And as well, I think I'm going to buy one definitely. I mean, I like this. It's a very nice soap. The uh, the new the new formula, but uh, yeah, I think I'd like to have one of the tallow ones just to see. Just to see how it compares. But as you can see, this is still a great soap. You know, it is a great soap. I really am enjoying it. Got my plaster hanging off, so I'll have to wash my hands again after this shave. Um, certainly don't want anything getting into that cut. Do you know guys, this razor This is the American version of the Fat Handle Tech, made in the USA. There are a couple of different versions uh, over the years. They still look excellent. You can always get it replated if it's not. But especially if you like a gentle shave, these really are a fantastic little razor. Look at the handle, it's a beautiful handle. 1940s, thereabouts, really lovely. There we are. Now we'll have a little, a little rinse scale. We'll see how we go. That's a very nice mild shave. I'm just going to go against the grain on my neck again. Now I've got that bit lovely. As I say, it is a mild razor this one. I could make do with that. Personally, it wouldn't bother me, but I know a lot of you guys like to get a lot closer. I've been thinking of grading the razors I use. In terms of how they perform in the shave, not for not for comfort or or 
design quality or manufacture quality or anything like that but let's just say for example we've got a perfect BBS shave but that might be a 10 uh, and if you nearly get a BBS shave that might be a 9 something along those lines just pondering that at the moment um, I just wonder if that would be useful I know it's all very subjective, isn't it? As soon as I get a little bit of soap on this, it feels like I'm not even having to shave sometimes. Or there's no blading, but there is. Now, guys, I've also decided because a fair number of you guys that watch my videos write to me i'm very grateful for that i do enjoy replying to your comments sometimes though i get behind um, especially as i'm putting out a couple of videos a week usually and, uh, you know, I'm looking after myself with my health and, and trying to look after my elderly mother as well. So if I get behind, after about two days, I'm just going to reply to your messages with a quick thumbs up and try and catch you on the next one. Just so that I don't have to spend, you know, every day looking at the comments and um, replying, because that is not something that I find easy to do because of my brain injury. So there we are. That's that's what's going on. You know, that's a lovely shave, it really is. Very good indeed, and I will think about... God, I'm super close on my face. I will think about rating the razor when... Um, perhaps I'll use this again in the near future when I can shave with it in a week beforehand and have a think about what I want to say in terms of that. I bought a new aftershave guys but I don't like it. Um, I bought this one, Whiskey Woods from Clubman, Pinot Reserve Whiskey Woods. It smells beautiful when you take the lid off. But when I put it on, it's really, really woodsy. And I'm afraid I don't like that. Uh, should have known, really, because it is called Whiskey Woods. So uh, I'll uh, keep that, give it away at, at uh, some point. Um, but today, I'm going to use a Ben Nevis. I don't know if you can see that, but Ben Nevis from Bart's Barns. And this is... Crikey, there's a lot come out of there, this side. This is their version of a Creed Aventus type scent. Uh, really lovely balm. Those 15 balms I got 
No, it's not. What are we talking about? One, two, three, four, five, six. I think seven, seven bombs for 15 quid. In these little sample pots. That was one of the best buys I've made. That was really good value. There we are, guys. That's my shave. I really enjoyed that. Thank you for being a part of it. You take good care of yourselves. I'll catch you around. Bye-bye now.